me, leave all of your things, yeah You can stop it, Gucci, stop it, Louis V, yeah Come with me, fly you out to be Full speed, so fully belly yeah. Speed boats, baby, in Nikki Beach Raising my ass, smoking weed Dipping through the sand in the teeth All because of what I did on peace, baby Life sweet, baby, life stop, baby We just go, get ready, we go out, baby Long time looking for the bounce, yeah Ozzy had to bounce, yeah Bounce, 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 bounce I hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel. Um, this is actually me at the end of the vlog. Future me, hello. Um, coming to give you guys a quick introduction into this vlog. This vlog is my Mauritius family trip. Before we get onto it, I just want to bring your attention to what's been going on in Iran. Just two months ago, Masa Amini, a Kurdish Iranian woman, was brutally killed whilst in custody in Iran for improper hijab. Since then, there's been rallies, there has been movements worldwide, not just in Iran, in order to protest for women, life and freedom. I'll leave the link down below in the description for you guys to look into this further. But if you guys just continue to spread awareness about this matter, it does so much, whether it be reading the posts that you see on Instagram and talking about with your friends, maybe sharing a few if you can, anything that you feel comfortable with, but we are grateful for your support nonetheless. I'm grateful for your support nonetheless. And that's what I have to say, and I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. <laughs> Um, it's very very beautiful the weather is divine everything is picturesque I've just had a pizza so I feel like all my lip liner is probably gone these sunglasses are actually my mum's we got them for her birthday me and Sina I think they're so cute um, but my sunglasses weren't giving me enough protection against the sun they're really thin Fendi Gucci gentle monster collab that Sina got me last year for my birthday looks like we gift each other a lot of sunglasses guys but yeah, um, this is a lot stronger against the sun and my mum is like walking by the beach and doesn't want it, so I'm just using it. So, Good morning guys, it is 6am, 6 6.30. 6 this is the earliest I've woken up on this holiday apart from the day that we arrived at 5am. <laughs> And we're going to swim with dolphins. It is amazing, but this is gonna be TMI. Last night I definitely had food poisoning because we went and got um, KFC because I've been dying to have KFC. Um, like I love trying it in different countries. It was incredible. And we also had this like street food biryani. One of them made me ill, unfortunately. Um, so anyway, now we're going to swim with dolphins. Fortunately, I'm a bit better now. Um, you have to wear like a certain attire, which is like bikini yeah, top with a top on top. Mean. As you can tell, sign is late. It's a good bit of a breakout, but I think sun will do it some good. Anyway, let's get going. Say hi, mum. Hello. Hello. It's my uh, Mauritius vlog. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> Look how polite the wild dogs are here in Mauritius. Like he's just sat whilst we will walk past. I've walked past about four now. This is Flick and Flag Beach. It's a lot more wavy than where we are in Grand Bay. It's like, uh, what's it called? I'm like, I'm a celebrity. 
Guys, this island reminds me, this island that we've come to is called like Crystal Island or something and it literally reminds me of Money Heist, that's it, where um, Tokyo runs away with Rio and they come to an island and then they get caught but before they get caught they're on like this beautiful island that looks like this. I feel like the lighting because it's so bright behind me is... Look at my dad! Dad! Say hello to the vlog! Hello. Are you having a good time? Very good! Did you see how the is? When I pictured like coming to Mauritius, this is what I pictured and I was saying to my family that I manifested it because if any of you guys watched my honest Q&A that I put up a couple months ago, I said that I really wanted to go to Mauritius and that I really wanted to go to Japan for my birthday, so there we go, I made it come true. Mom, my mom loves oysters, guys. I'm not gonna lie, this is better than anything we could ever ask. I don't know. He is literally washing our oysters in the sea for us. Like, it doesn't get much fresher than this right now. Beautiful. Look at that. Washed fresh in the ocean. Brought back for us to eat. One, two, three. You done yourself in there, so? Mmm. Very nice. Guys, my mum is trying the sea urchin. She loves these things. <laughs> Mom! Oh, is Daddy trying it? He loves it too. Look at him adding the hot sauce. Hot My secret sauce. My secret sauce. Your secret. Your secret sauce. Will you put some secret sauce in here? Mmm. How is it? Beautiful. My more than that. You talk more. So this is what the sea urchin looks like, guys. Ah, oh, it's proper spiky. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, it's moving. It's alive. Oh, shit. It's alive. Oh, yeah. Oh. What is it? Yeah. Oh, it's moving. It's alive. Well, what should we make on any I feel bad. Am I like skinning it alive? Just eat it. Just eat it. Don't ask questions. Let me try. Try it, sit. I actually like it. Oh, but it is moving, guys. Like the thing around it is moving. But the man you come try it now. No, 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 no. No, diga na ge. Ino bokho. Do sna. No, man ne mekham diga. Do sna dashta. No. Diga na ge, mom. No, I don't want it. Pick it, pick it, dar. Pick it, dar. To dash sam te ko. Now they bought this big one, which just looks like a giant oyster, to be honest. Oh my god! This is the final product. How much? 400. 400. I spent the 400. Years. I'm not a fan of this one. This one's not nice. Right. Do you like it? I don't like it. I don't really like it. My mum got too excited at that coconut stand and got like four coconuts, even though we've got like, with this tour that we've come on to see the dolphins, we've got that like lunch set up where they're going to give us barbecue and they've got like rum and coke like from the island and. Um, yeah, it's just really amazing that this whole vibe, it's incredible. All my mum wanted this holiday was yeah. some oysters. Oh, I had loads of oysters and I love And it. other things now. Yes, and especially at this shop, look. Yeah. This shop is... <laughs> Your favourite shop. Yes, 
oyster place in the world. He's moving shop. Look, look. Yeah, he just moves along to the next place. It's really cool. Um, so I'm glad that my mum got her oysters. Yes. Because she had oysters like when we at the hotel restaurant, but it's not the same. But this is fresh. This is super fresh. Super fresh. <laughs> We've come for dinner. This restaurant is called Le Capitan and it's in Grand Bay, which is the area that we are staying in. And um, it's like a seafood restaurant, but it has some Mauritian dishes. I feel like from what we're gathering from the locals, the Mauritian dishes is very much heavily influenced by Indian food, and it's a lot of got a lot of Indian food in it, um, which we absolutely love. So can't wait to try some more. We had some biryani last night, um, and some KFC as well from here. By the way, everything I've at here is really good, and the KFC is better than London. I'm just gonna put out there. So I'm gonna show you our outfit for tonight. So this Pretty. is my outfit. Um, what are you wearing? Mango. Oh, nice. Can I show mine? Yeah. I'm wearing this dress from Mermaid. My bag is Zara. It's your dress from Mermaid? Yeah, my shoes are naked wolf. You guys. These shoes are the subject of so much debate because I love I them. I want to wear them. And Every then... night she keeps wearing the shoes that I want to wear. Because they're mine. <laughs> um, no, but there's just so much debate because so many people who follow me on Instagram, TikTok, whatever, hate them. And there's so many people love them. It's like a love hate. It's like Marmite. I love them, personally. I think they're so I cool. I love it. You got, what do you want to eat? I'm starving. I don't know. Anything. I'm so hungry. Don't be shy, girl. Go bonanza. Shake your body like a belly dancer. Guys, they have the football here as well. Everywhere we go, it's so nice, they're showing the tea. <laughs> We're just waiting. We're just waiting for them to sort our table out and then we can eat. Oh, how many how many buttons have you undone? You might as well be naked at this point. <laughs> This is so pretty, guys. Staffed. We just had their chocolate fondant as well, which it was a beautiful. 10 out of 10. You didn't have the chocolate fondant it as well. Beautiful. It was insane. Maybe the best chocolate fondant I've ever had. Nah. It was just so fresh. Everything was really fresh, and I have more pasta left over to take home so I can have that tomorrow. Can't wait. Take home, I say. You know what I mean. Anyway, time to go to sleep into my food coma. Morning. This is our villa, by the way. I feel like I've shown little snippets, but this is what it looks like. There it is. That area inside that hut, which is like the kitchen and living area. Then we've got one bedroom there, one bedroom there, one bedroom there, one bedroom there with my dad. <laughs> He's wringing his shirt. I am on a mission today to correct this sun line that I got um, in Mexico. It hasn't really gone away. I've been away four more times since Mexico and I've actually just made this line worse. I initially started off with 
a, I'm wearing swimming costume by the way, it initially started off with a sun burn and then I covered it with sun cream and then sun bathed and then it just became, I think I was at that point, you know the type of person who burns then tans because that happens to me sometimes, I fluctuate, either I go golden or I can burn then tan. So this was a burn then tan scenario and then it just got darker and darker. So that's what we're doing today. This bikini is from Mermaids, this bun is a mess and we are going to go and sunbathe a little bit. Hello, found some lobsters in the pool. I'm a sea bass. Hello, other lobster, can you turn around please? Can you turn around please? Sol looks so pretty. She's wearing this bikini from Jaded. If you guys watch my make and ask vlog, I actually got it for that, but it suits her so nice. And then I'm wearing, I'm wearing this bikini of Sol's. We've literally traded up. Um, where is this from Sol? Mm, and Summers. And Summers, I think via ASOS. And then my skirt is Jaded. Again, I freaking love Jaded, I love their stuff. My hair, like I tied it up in a bun and then I got it a bit wet, so it's kind of like dried in this crazy wild hairdo, but I think it looks cute, so we shall stick to it. And we are going to the sea now. Um, I can't wait, come along. You can come, it's a video. <laughs> Look at this beautiful sunset. We have a feeling someone there is going to propose under those little twinkly lights. This place is so beautiful and it's so nice to watch the World Cup during our like time chilling by the pool and stuff and I watched the sunset as well and it's just so pretty here I absolutely love it the water is like crystal crystal clear um, and Sina says she's been to the Maldives and she says that the water in the Maldives is the same so I think it's because it's Indian Ocean for all of Mauritius but honestly so beautiful. Soul's changed outfits and put on red lipstick. So we've come to Port Louis. This is like a shopping center area. What was this area called? Cod, I can't remember guys. Golden Waterfront Shopping Center or something. So this is a waterfront shopping center. We're going to eat now at Namaste. I just got myself coffee ice cream. This is Soul's outfit of the night. Oh la la. She got dressed by the pool, remember? This is me. I love this dress. Sina's come out in her swimwear. I don't know what she was thinking. I told you, I wanted to get changed out of my swimwear and you got changed into swimwear. We were walking down the beach. At night time. So you're not going to go in the water. But I was, I'm literally wearing my, the top of my swimwear. No, you're wearing a Louis Vuitton bikini. We have evidence. But I thought we were walking down the beach, so maybe I'll jump in the pool. What are you eating, madam? Ice cream. <laughs> That's the only reason she's quiet. Peanut butter ice cream. I love ice cream. Another day at the pool. That's the main man slept over there. Today was a lovely day by pool, watching the football. Iran actually won against Wales, which was lovely. Anyway. This is my outfit of the day. If you want to see what I look like properly, I have a TikTok, so check that out. My makeup's come off, and we're gonna go for dinner now. Um, I know I've literally started filming at the end of the day, but we're just in the same spot that we were yesterday, really, so not much has changed. With some football on the TV, and look at that sunset and football. Beautiful. Got a bath and mirror to show you guys my outfit of the day. This cover up is Sorrel, this bikini is Mermaids, and this hat I got in Mexico. And also, this 
beach bag. This beach bag was a gift from my best friends um, for my birthday and I love it. Life's a beach. It's very pretty. last full day here um, but we're just kind of enjoying well it's quite cloudy as well just enjoying the warmer weather and taking it all in really I'm really hungry But you know what, we're rolling with it. I've eaten so much food, I'm in a food coma, and I've had ice cream. Just signs. <laughs> How was your holiday been? Guys, there's a little wedding on that pier. Oh my god. I'm gonna fall. Can you see? Look at that. It's like a wedding. How cute. Gonna watch our last Mauritian sunset with Sol blocking the view. <laughs> Beautiful guys, this camera does not do justice to what we're seeing right now. Honestly, I can't recommend Mauritius enough. It is so beautiful here. The food is really good. Um, as our waitress last night described, there is so many um, different cultures infused into the Mauritian culture, which means that everything about the people and the food and the whole country is just so extra special and beautiful. And I love it here. Really, really recommend it so much. And I'm just gonna enjoy this last sunset. This is my OOTN. It is a set from Jaded London. I actually got this for Mykonos in the summer and I absolutely love it. I think it's like probably my most worn summer set ever, like summer kind of set. Um, we're gonna go eat some food now and enjoy like our last night together. Guys, I'm having to wear a Compi Vista patch as a result of the LV slippers that I wore literally for like five minutes I spent in total wearing them. I spent a total of five minutes wearing them the other night and they literally ruined my feet. I feel like they're the most uncomfortable. You know those slippers with the, I feel like I showed my outfit for that day, um, so you guys would have seen, but the pink like LV slippers that like they velcro over, they're so uncomfortable. Even the brown ones are the same. They're a little less uncomfortable than the pink, but they're just the most uncomfortable shoes for summer. I really don't recommend buying them if you actually want to walk in them. Uh, unless you can put like blister patches on top from before, not it. Hello, is it me you're looking for? No, it's just a drink. <laughs> All I want is a Diet Coke. There is too much going on here because I just hear like a party on that side, I hear music on that side. <laughs> My dad has shown me pictures of us when we were in Singapore guys, can't really see. But anyway, I'm going to go enjoy my dinner. Right, peace out, peace out. 
Okay guys, the time has come for me to end this Mauritius vlog. It is 12.45 in the middle of the night and we need to go to the airport because our flight is at 4 a.m. We land in London at 3.30 in the afternoon, which is good because it's a Sunday and everyone has work on Monday and it's gonna be the start of a lovely new week and we're all so refreshed. And also guys, I fixed a bit of my awful tan line which I'm proud about and as per all my vlogs recently I just want to thank you guys for continuing to talk about Iran and what's been happening it's been over 70 days since the death of Massa Amini and people are continuing to fight for women's rights freedom equality and much much more than that I will leave the link down below in the description for Amnesty for you guys to look into it yourself. The United Nations has just made a vote of 26 to 5, I believe, in order to investigate further what's been going on in Iran. And we are all very, very happy about that. So I will leave this vlog on a very positive note. Don't forget to comment down below your favourite moments of this vlog, like and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Thank you again, and please, please, please subscribe. It means a lot to me if you do, and give it a thumbs up.